Welcome to teacherbird.com. My name is Rosa and I'll be your instructor for today's lesson. I think we can all agree that Facebook's privacy settings are overwhelming for the most of us. That's why I'll be working with you step by step to help you familiarize yourself with everything you need to know to keep your Facebook privacy in check. Facebook offers two main ways to control your privacy. You can apply privacy settings that set general rules about who can contact you and view your information, and you can control who sees every individual post you make. To access the privacy settings and tool page, click the settings gear in the top right corner, which is here, of the page, and then select privacy settings from the drop down menu. So as we can see, we have a number of options. So we'll go through them one by one. Number one is about your future posts. So your posts are basically your photos, your videos, and anything that you have shared on your timeline. So who can see your future posts? If I press edit here, I can select um, the public, friends, only me. These are groups which I have uh, groups or lists that I have predefined, like sports club, that means my friends who are part of the sports club list, or friends who have defined as being close friends. So I can select either one of them, or if I want more options and more customized features, I can press the custom button here. Now, here I have the option of making my posts, future posts, available to specific people. Which means, for example, if I want only Barbag, my friend, to see my future posts and no one else, I can uh, define it like this. Or maybe I want all my friends except Alex. So, like this, all my friends except Alex will see my future posts. So there you go. Now you can either save the changes or cancel to go back. So the second option lets you review all your posts and all the things you're tagged in. So here I go and click on the use activity log. And it brings me to this page. Now, on my page, I can see various things like um, things I've liked and I've updated my cover photo and you can see photos you've been tagged in and so on and so forth. So you can go one by one and click on pencil icon here and allow it either to remain on the timeline or select to hide it from the timeline. And you can do this for each and every post. Okay, so here we go into the third option. This option lets you limit the audience for posts you've shared with friends of friends or public. So here I am again, I click on limit past posts. Okay, if I click this button, limit old posts, it means that only my friends can see my past posts and no one else. It means not the public, not friends of friends, nobody but my friends. So I can either Confirm or cancel depends on your requirements. Okay, so I'm done with that, so I'm going to press close. Now we can go to the fourth option here. So it says, who can look you up using the email address or phone number you've provided? Basically, people can find you on Facebook using the email address you've used to sign up or the phone number that you've provided Facebook. So you can actually edit that. So here I go, I press edit, and I can specify, do I want everyone to be able to look me up, only friends of friends, or friends only to be able to look me up using my phone number or my email. Okay, I'm going to press close on this one as well. So let's look at the fifth option here, which says, do you want other search engines to link to your timeline? Now, if I press edit here by removing the stick or letting it remain I choose whether 
search engines like Google, Yahoo, MSN, they can actually track what's on my timeline. For example, say someone is searching for Siamese cat using the Google search engine. Now, if I have a picture of the Siamese cat on my timeline, it will link to it unless I remove the stick. So if I press confirm, it will remove uh, any association with my timeline. So uh, the only thing is it will take some time for this update to take place. So it may take a while for search engines to stop showing the link to your timeline in their results. Okay, there we go, I'm gonna press close. Okay, that's it for this section. Next, we go on to discuss privacy shortcuts. Now, privacy shortcuts is the menu here on the right hand side at the top here. So, privacy shortcuts give you quick access to many of the privacy settings found on the privacy settings and tools page, but also offer you some additional features. So, let's have a look. Now, the first one is who can see my stuff if I press the arrow here. Okay, we have three options now. Um, the first two we have already covered. In the previous discussion but this one view as is new to this topic so if i press view as okay now this is giving me a public view of my profile means this is how everybody can see my profile now if i want to see how a specific person is seeing my profile i have the option here at the top view a specific person i can enter the name for example i want to know how alex is viewing my profile. I can, now you see it updates accordingly. So this is in fact a very useful tool so you can uh, check to see how other people are viewing my, your profile and then adjust your privacy settings accordingly. Okay, so we covered who can see my stuff and the view as option. So I'm going to click the arrow for it to go up and we're going to the second option, which is who can contact me. Now, the first part here is with regard to messages in your inbox. Facebook filters your messages in two ways. One is basic filtering, the other is strict filtering. So basic filtering means that mostly friends and people you may know may inbox you. Now strict filtering means that mostly just friends. So you might actually miss a few messages because the filter will not allow them through. So this depends on your choice. Now the next option is who about who can send you friend requests so at the moment it's set to everyone but you can change that to friends of friends okay so we press the arrow button up and the last option in the privacy shortcuts menu okay we come to the last option which is how do i stop someone from bothering me if someone is bothering on facebook and contacting you unwantingly you can actually block them by adding the name or email here so for example let's say bob Xandy is being bothering me and i want to block them so i'll we'll press block okay so i'm going to go ahead and press block okay so it gives some explanations with regarding what blocking does blocking will not allow the blocked person to see things you post on your timeline, will not allow them to tag you, will not allow them to invite you to events or groups, will not allow them to start a conversation with you, or add you as a friend. Okay, so I'm going to go and cancel that. I don't want to block him after all. So we have one more link here and that is view all block users. So if there's anybody you've uh, blocked before and you've changed your mind <laughs> or you block mistakenly, which can happen, you press this and it will list here anybody that you have blocked and you will have the option of unblocking them. So at the moment, I don't have anyone blocked, but uh, if I did, then it will have it here and I can unblock them immediately from this window. Okay, now let's go to see more settings. Actually, this takes you to the previous menu we covered, which was privacy settings. 
So that's it with regards to privacy shortcuts. Let's move on to the next topic. Okay, next we're going to talk about the audience selector. In addition to your general privacy settings, you can control who sees every post you share with the audience selector. This allows you to change your default privacy settings and make posts more private or less private. If you change your mind later, you can go back and reset the privacy setting for that post at any time, so that's not an issue. Okay, so let's see how the audience selector works. For example, I want to post a status on Facebook. Say, for example, blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so I want to post this and I want to control the audience for it. So I go here at the bottom next to the post option and I press the arrow. And as you can see, the familiar settings for the audience will appear. Now keep in mind that modifying the audience selector will change the default settings for future posts. So, you should always double check the audience selector before sharing anything on Facebook. The next topic we are going to talk about is tags. So, how do tags work? Basically, a tag is a way to identify people on Facebook by posting their name and a link to their profile. Your friends can tag you on photos and videos as well as other posts, including status updates. Anyone who can see these posts will then be able to click the tag and see your public information. The tag post will also be visible on your timeline and news feed. You've probably heard stories about people who've been humiliated or even lost their jobs after being tagged in inappropriate photos. One way to prevent yourself from being tagged and potentially embarrassing photos and posts is to manage your tag settings in the timeline and tagging section of the privacy settings page. From there, you can enable timeline review, which lets you manage tag photos and posts before they're posted to your timeline. You can also use these settings to control exactly who can see your tag photos and posts. Okay, so let's go and have a look where exactly the setting is. So we go to the top right hand corner again. And we select privacy settings. From here, you select timeline and tagging. Okay, so this is the timeline and tagging settings. Now the first option is who can add things to my timeline. So first is who can post on your timeline. By pressing edit here, you can control the audience. And next, review posts friends tag you in before they appear on your timeline. So this allows you to confirm any tags before other people can see them on your timeline. So this is a very handy tool. So by pressing edit, by, um, by enabling it, uh, you will have complete control over what you're tagged in and what get posted on your timeline. Now, uh, the second option is who can see things on my timeline? So, number one, review what other people see on your timeline. View as. Okay, we've already covered this one earlier. So, the second one. Who can see posts you've been tagged in on your timeline? Again, you can press edit and control the audience. We discussed these options earlier, so you're very familiar with them. And the last option here is who can see what others post on your timeline? Again, by pressing edit, you can customize um, your audience. The third option is, is how can I manage tags, people add, and a tagging suggestion? So the first option in this section is review tags people add to your own posts before the tags appear on Facebook by pressing edit. So this option you can enable here. Okay, and when you're tagged in a post, who do you want to add to the audience if they aren't already in it? Again, you can edit and 
and customize that here. And the last option here is who sees tag suggestions when photos that look like you are uploaded. So by pressing edit, again, you can choose no one or your friends. Well, there we go. That's done with timeline and tagging. If you've been on Facebook for a while, you may have been tagged in photos before enabling tag review. If that is the case, I'll show you just how to remove the tags. Now, if you want to remove previous tags, you will need to remove them individually. Okay, so if we look here on my timeline, I have been tagged in this photo. You can also view your tags in the notifications. And also, if you go into your profile, and into the photos, you can see photos of you, which means photos that have been tagged by other people. So basically, you click on the tag photo. And down here, you have options. We increase options. The last item on the options menu is report or remove tag. Now I'm going to press this. OK, so it's going to give me the option of untagging myself or removing the photo totally from Facebook. So I'll press I want to untag myself. Then I'll press continue. OK, you are no longer tagged in this photo. Actually, this photo will still appear in newsfeed search and other places on Facebook, but there will no longer be a link to your profile like this. Well, that's it on Facebook privacy from me. Now you have all the tools you need to keep your private information private.